A high-speed maglev train from China was displayed to the public in September 2022 at the Berlin Transportation Technology Exhibition in Germany. Its top speed is 600 km per hour. It is not only the world's fastest high-speed maglev train, but also the most technologically advanced super train in China. When taking this train from San Francisco in the United States and arriving in Los Angeles in approximately an hour, we can only fathom how astonishing the speed is. It's unfortunate that this high-speed maglev train only debuted in 2019, as it has done for the past three years. Why can't China's high-speed maglev train be used on a regular basis? Before we go on, subscribe to Chen News to watch about the most shocking and amazing world projects. You won't regret it. Ready? Let's begin. Let me first describe what a high-speed maglev train is to you. Strong magnetism can be used to move a high-speed maglev train that China has created. The train will be suspended on the track by around 10 millimeters and may be kept suspended in the air throughout operation thanks to the strong magnetic field of the track. The speed of the medium and low-speed maglev trains can often reach 200 to 400 kilometers per hour, while the high-speed maglev train can go at a top speed of 620 kilometers per hour due to the reduction of friction caused by the wheels and the track. This high-speed maglev train will go more than twice as quickly as conventional high-speed rail. China has started to develop cutting-edge superconducting technology for fast maglev trains as of 2014. Until 2019, the first high-speed maglev train constructed by China was successfully completed and rolled off the production line in Qingdao. The high-speed maglev train that China successfully developed in this short period of time is equivalent to the level now attained by Germany and Japan. The high-speed maglev train created by China can travel at a maximal speed of 600 km per hour, according to pertinent test results. You should be aware that the typical high-speed train travels at just 300 km per hour. If this trend persists, China's high-speed maglev train is extremely likely to beat Germany and Japan and take the top spot in the global high-speed maglev train rankings. But a lot of people are perplexed by this. Given that it already has a high-speed rail system that is mostly developed, why does China continue to construct high-speed maglev trains? The benefits the high-speed maglev train will offer will be far larger than those of high-speed rail, which is why China has invested a lot of time and effort in developing it. China lagged behind other nations in the globe in terms of railway strength at the start of the 21st century. This has caused China's standard trains to deliver goods far more slowly than those in Western nations. Additionally, the actual carrying capacity of regular trains in China is subpar. Furthermore, China did not have high-speed rail technology in the beginning, making it challenging for it to compete with other nations in this area. In order to solve these deficiencies, China has purchased a significant amount of technology connected to the high-speed rail project and the high-speed maglev train project from Germany and Japan. In appearance, high-speed maglev trains appear to have just one speed advantage over high-speed rail, but in reality, they have many more benefits, particularly given the developments in China's transportation industry that make them significantly superior. This is especially true when compared to high-speed rail, on the basis of the successful completion of the high-speed rail project in China, it is anticipated that more breakthroughs may be accomplished in the future. It is important for you to be aware that ever since the high-speed rail project was integrated into daily life in China, the country's trains have been moving at a quicker pace and regional connection has been enhanced. In addition to exhibiting China's infrastructural prowess to the rest of the world, it fosters economic and commercial development, which is a positive development overall. Under these circumstances, the high-speed maglev train may become even more significant if complete promotion of the train could be achieved. Alterations of a considerable nature are on the horizon for the entirety of China's transportation system. It is also feasible for there to be economic expansion in any and all large and small cities that are located above the national land area. Because of the many advantages that could be gained, China decided to proceed with the development of new railway projects. It is essential, however, to keep in mind that in 2014 China presented an official blueprint for a plan to finish the construction of the high-speed maglev railway by 2019. The world's first high-speed maglev train debuted in China and passed its first test with flying colors in Qingdao. 
However, China has not taken any action to promote it even after all of these years have passed. Why does that hold true? Even though China is currently in possession of the technology necessary for high-speed maglev trains, there are still additional challenges that need to be addressed before this sort of train can be widely used in the country. First of all, while building the high-speed maglev train track, it is important to note that it is considerably different from conventional high-speed rail. To link with the electromagnets that will be employed later, a lot of concrete and rare metals must be used. The high-speed maglev train also requires the deployment of very advanced electrical machinery. These essential parts of apparatus call for a significant amount of research and development, in addition to enough testing time. The recently developed high-speed maglev train in China cannot be connected to the existing rail network at this time for several technical reasons. If you want to make frequent use of high-speed maglev trains, you will need to reintegrate and develop a strategy that is specific to the use of these trains. The establishment of a maglev train track that is 1 km in length is estimated to have a minimum cost of $80 million and maybe much more than that. In this kind of scenario, the reconstruction of the thousands of kilometers of maglev train track over the majority of China will be incredibly costly. Investing a significant amount of money on maglev train lines is not only difficult, but also pointless to do so. Despite the fact that China was successful in developing the maglev train for extremely high speeds, in terms of technological development, it is still in its infancy. In the event that an extensive effort to educate the general public about this sort of train is started, driving can expose drivers to a range of possible safety hazards. It seems inconceivable that China would put its progress on the line by taking such a significant risk. Since this is the case, China's plan for a high-speed maglev train can only be put on hold until the technology is completely developed and shown to be trustworthy. What really important is that China now has a high-speed rail system that can essentially connect all of the country's regions. The majority of average people's current travel needs can be met by high-speed rail systems. If the high-speed maglev train becomes extensively utilized at the expected price, then the price of a launch ticket will not be less expensive than the price of a high-speed rail ticket, and it may even be more expensive than the price of a ticket for a commercial airplane. As a consequence of this, there is no need for high-speed maglev trains in China at the present time, and there is also no reason for the widespread use of these trains. In spite of the fact that China would not openly publicize its high-speed maglev train, the country will continue to develop this technology. China is currently in the period of perpetual innovation, despite the fact that there are still a great deal of problems to be solved. They will surely be tackled one at a time in a more targeted kind of development work as the population of Chinese society continues to expand at a rapid rate. If the technology for high-speed maglev trains were to become adequately developed in the future, China would surely give it some serious consideration for use. Write in comments what do you think about this shocking train. Also, click on face video to watch about another insane project.